Let's take a look at some of the really cool properties that the real numbers exhibit and see if we can identify which one is which. So, so here is sort of a complicated looking object that's mathematical in nature and let's see what property is being used to show this equal sign really holding. Well, boy, how do you parse this? This is saying the quantity 6 times a minus 1 all multiplied by 2. Remember, if there's no symbol in between two objects, that means that we're multiplying. And that equals 6 times a times 2 minus 1 times 2. Well, I guess what we're doing here actually is using the distributive property. 2 times this difference, we can actually distribute and we'd see 6a times 2 minus 1 times 2. So in fact, this is an example of the distributive law at work. So that's pretty cool. What about this one? Well, here I'm taking negative 4, multiplying it by 7, and then taking that answer and multiplying it by 2. And this is claiming that that's the same thing as taking the negative 4 multiplied by 7 times 2. What's the difference? The difference is here I did this multiplication first, and here I'm doing this multiplication here first. Why am I allowed to go from doing this multiplication to kind of, in a way, sliding over and doing that multiplication first? The answer is the great property known as the associative property that allows us to group or associate multiplication in any order that we want. We'll always get the same answer. So that's a great property, pretty cool, allows us to do a lot of neat things. So those are two great properties that we'll use a lot here together and also beyond. I'll see you soon.